Goa, you know, and get collect more Goa books. <coughs> so basically, I am I'm a collector of Goa books. So hopefully, I will uh, soon uh, Frederick uh, surpass Frederick. <laughs> I'm thinking of surpassing Eddie, but that never happens. <laughs> Is Eddie here? No, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we, so we have to talk I'm, behind his back. I welcome you all, all here to the Goa Book Club and uh, hope you all learn a lot from each other. Thank you. Some ground rules or something you want to explain? Uh, so basically, uh, uh, this is the first meeting of the Goa Book Club, so you are all a part of history. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Basically, the rules are such that uh, we meet once a month, uh, no compulsory attendance. But all those who attend uh, should ideally speak on a Goa book which they have uh, liked, ideally for three or five minutes. And uh, that's about it, I think. And uh, we meet every third third Thursday of the month. And if we can always uh, change it by majority vote. No, that is fixed because the name is fixed, no? You can change the name also. <laughs> okay. Tell okay. me, okay. what is your occupation? Uh, I am into many things. I uh, started out as a merchant marina and uh, presently I am a student uh, of social work. And, uh, in Goa, in Goa. In Goa, yeah. Okay. And, uh, Actually, he is uh, he's not telling you many things. He collects Goa books. He uh, researches local history at the village level. So he is a social activist. Yeah, he's a social activist. He has a very good understanding of the Komnidads they're working and all that. Oh yeah. So we are pushing him to write something, but he's not obliging. If it's just sitting down and writing, I'll help you out. What is that? And a budding historian. Thank you. Thank you. But maybe introduction, just one round of introductions for everyone, and then we'll start. I introduce myself. No, everyone else. I'll start? Yeah. My name is Eric Pinto. I'm a civil engineer. I, was a, I used to be an activist before. Uh, I, became a, I, I was a civil engineer uh, a long time ago and got into activism. I'm back again as a civil engineer. I'm Bene, and I'm visiting from um, San Mateo. I just think about that for a second. I've just recently moved from Los Angeles, where I normally live. And uh, I'm a student at the University of London, and, um, but oddly enough, live in the States and work there. Um, and I'm to... Okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm a jack of all and dabble in many things. I read myself very thin. And uh, my only claim to fame is I have about 1,600 books on Goa. So I started <laughs> collecting uh, in 85. 1600, 1985, and there are so many books, so people might think I'm exaggerating, so Leroy has come and asked me, show me, count and show me, so I've actually, <laughs> some of them are technical reports, you know, boring stuff, not exactly. Telephone directly. Yeah, yeah telephone directly. <laughs> 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 He's pulling me down the peg or two, but those, it's a fact. Those are good resources, those are good. Yeah. yeah. Where do you keep them, at home, in your, in your yeah. own house? Yeah, yeah. Pamela actually, once in a way, decides what should be the layout and also I don't have much say there. <laughs> I follow in line. But actually it's it's easy to manage it if you put make bookshelves against the wall. Come yeah, over please. All of you are welcome. Actually I'm sure even a telephone directory we could have a one hour discussion about it. <laughs>